Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server. On the level 60, a necromancer in the Tower of Frozen Shadow. So we're going to get in there, and we're going to go. Part 2 of Tower of Frozen Shadow. Overall, this is the Exploring um, Velius series, and we've already explored Iceclad, Eastern Wastes, and the first floor of Tower of Frozen Shadow. We've also pretty much gone through the entire second floor of Tower of Frozen Shadow, which is this library with these ghosty goos. But um, we need to find an angry librarian is what we're trying to do. So hopefully the game is capturing... Hmm. Let me check the audio real quick. Seems okay. So uh, yeah, first thing we're going to do is get our pet out. So let's take off Demi Lich. Get our pet. But yes, uh, tower, the first floor you have to find the, the large knoll is what you need to find to find the key to the second floor. There wasn't really anything too special on the first floor as far as like named that I could see. We do go over the wiki as we go through this, so I will be switching over to the wiki at certain points to, you know, look at the map or read about the Tower of Frozen Shadow or look up some levels for you. But, um, first floor, you got to find that large knoll. The best part of that was probably the two enemies near the entrance that, um, man, he's super loud, isn't he? I don't know what's going on here. Let me see if I can fix this. This audio is bothering me at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't mess you all up too much. i turn it down a little bit. But, um... So on this floor, we're looking for an angry librarian. We already kind of went to right wall strats, righty tighty, and uh, I guess we'll do lefty Lucy this time. Um, change my view, or no, we could just do this. All right, so let's lich. Now, I might even charm further up. This is like an undead dungeon. Um, I think level 35 to 50 is around. We'll definitely look at the wiki, but let's get through the second floor. we got to make it to the third floor, because we've already seen the second floor pretty much. So if we're going to make any progress today, we got to find this angry librarian, and that's the first step. So let's get on to that. Beyond that first floor, it seemed like the two like guardians next to the door, the two specters, were the best thing to kill, um, because you can get scythes off them. But there wasn't like a ton of named or anything. So, All right, let's do Lefty Lucy. Let me lich. What do I got on here? Shield of the Magi, okay. So we're looking for an angry librarian. Ghostly Scholar, Ghostly Scholar. A little cubby hole here. Ghostly Teacher. Maybe we'll just run through and try to find... I don't want to get in too much trouble, though, because I think they uh, aggro. Yep. So go get him, buddy. I will vexing... The ghostly Scholar... We may switch up the way we're fighting once we get a little bit deeper. But for now, I've just kind of been watching my pet fight. As we do these early levels that aren't going to be too much trouble, kind of just watch our pet fight. And, um, you know, maybe up higher I'll charm. But let's go lefty Lucy this time instead of righty tighty and see if we can find us an angry librarian who will drop the key to the third floor. I've never seen the third floor. This is the second time I've ever seen even the second floor. So I'm hoping some of y'all out there uh, haven't seen all these floors in the Tower of Frozen Shadow. Like, I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen the first floor and maybe the second. But once we get up to the third and stuff like that, be less and less people. Let's get rid of all this silver and copper. All right. Let's go. Got another ghostly scholar. Let's get in there. No vexing. There's nothing. Oh, there's one guy there. I don't think he sees us, though. Did I get him? Ah, I was interrupted. All right, let's do it again. Do this just to counter my lich. And I'm going to want to sit for at least a second here. Come on. Let me get some mana back. Vebo Veboptic. Veboptic. Go get him. My Spectre Pet does a life tap, which is pretty cool. It's like 40, 50 damage. 
He gets the life back. As you can see right there, Ghostly Scholar was hit by non-melee for 48 points of damage. So he keeps himself kind of topped off a little bit, but not completely. Like, I might want to throw some Renew Bones. But the spells I have up right now are pretty much Root, Paralyzing Earth. I have Vexing Mordania. I got Splurt in case I come up against something hard. We got Deflux. We got Dooming Darkness, because they do run, even though they're undead. Some of them run. I got Renew Bones. I got Demi Lich, and I got Feign Death, just in case. You never know. I heard it does get hard in this tower. Like, I was, uh, even before somebody told me, I was thinking, you know, this could get hard. There's some level 50s, and I hear they charm and everything. I'm trying to see what we got here without my pet aggroing. Can we, uh, got a ghostly student, ghostly scholar, ghostly scholar, ghostly scholar, ghostly student. All right, he's fighting, so... We'll vexing, and then we'll sit. That's pretty much all we're doing. If he gets into some crazy trouble, I might root or... Oh, no. I think I just gave us some more trouble myself. Like, here I might root. Oh, nah, we're good. All right, I'm just going to sit. Probably fine. Sitting is... You know, I got to get mana back, so... There's the librarian up front and the librarian's assistant. They didn't seem to drop anything too special. That I saw. But we can go back and kill him. This ghostly student beamed a smile. Our man is looking okay, but not the greatest yet. Maybe I can throw him a heal. Pretty low mana cost, I think. Yeah, not too bad. He's down to 60%. Alright. Killing ghosts. The real fun is going to happen when we finally get to that third floor. Is this a trap? That looks like a trap to me. Like, what happens? Hmm. So, student, scholar, scholar. I mean, if we can't find the angry librarian... Oh, he's got three on him. This is not going to be great. We'll start with this. I'll get this guy myself. Deflux. Man, yeah, we gotta wreck this guy. We gotta get one of them off of him. There we go. Alright, get another one. At least dotted. Let me throw him a heal. Ugh. Getting low. Offense is probably the best defense, but I'm going to throw one more heal. He's for clearing out quite a few. I think he's going to be good now. Vexing. And we'll take a seat back here in the corner for a sec. Ooh, that's something. What is that? I don't even want to get ne next to that. Alright, I need to sit, and so does he. Alright, sit, buddy. All right, we're going to meditate for a minute. I will pause. Here, let me grab the loot so you can see what they drop. Uh, eight gold. We got five silver. Three gold. So we're going to chill right here for a minute. And um, I'll just pause so you guys don't have to sit here and watch. But the goal is, I guess we're going to have to just clear this whole floor until we see an angry librarian. So if it starts to become a thing where we're not seeing anything new, maybe I'll just do it myself and I'll pop back up when I see the angry librarian finally. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get a moving because I can't, uh, waste too much more HP. So, supposedly, the, um, the angry librarian will spawn immediately after you kill something, so. It's not like we have to look for the angry librarian. We just had to keep killing until it pops. It might have been how the first floor worked, too. I mean, we saw that. The, the the large knoll was just there, though, so I guess it didn't. But it did do that later. As We, we got two uh, large knolls on the first floor. Um, it looks like we just need to keep killing. Because the, the angry librarian is not just going to be standing here somewhere. It's probably going to have to be spawned. By getting a kill. 
Uh, I think it said it was 30 to 34th level up here, like these enemies. Oh, we'll check out the wiki. I just really want to get this angry librarian. Um, there is a mirror up here to go out. Let's see if we can find that. Cause it said northwest corner, which is where we're at. Here, you take a seat, buddy. I'll even throw you a heal. What? I hate how you have to pick a target for the spell. I guess you just go straight to your pet. I was saying that last time. <laughs> Alright, there should be a trick bookcase. There we go. And this would be how you would go outside. Oh, there's a student down here too. Let's get him. Is he all by himself? Yeah, but that's how you'd get outside, right there. If you wanted to leave. Um, might even be able to click the one at the front, too. I don't know if that would take you to the first floor or all the way out. Definitely not going to try it right now, because I want to be on this floor, but... Did not spawn the angry librarian. How much trouble are we going to have getting this thing to spawn? Pretty much killed an entire floor of these enemies now. Um, if you include the last time. Alright, pet, come on. Let's get to killing. Should be coming. There we go. I feel like I'm not killing super fast, but I'm, like, killing mana efficiently, hopefully. These things with their spells are... Maybe I should put some... Oh, I forgot to do augment death. That might, be, might help a little bit. <laughs> there you go, dude. Well, let's continue clearing out this left side, I guess. Looks like we pretty much did the job. Whole left side is clear. Well, let's get the teacher. About to just sit, not even cast a spell this time. He's got his augment death on. Come on, baby. Yeah, we're gonna keep going up this tower. You guys seem to like this uh, a little bit better than me uh, outdoors exploring ice clad and eastern wastes. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to keep the uh, complaining to a minimum. I'm coming up on my seven year channel anniversary. So, dang, my pet is almost dead, dude. Take a seat, buddy. Some loot. Toot toot. Get some loot. Dang, my pet is effed up. What am I going to do here? Hmm. I could heal him, like... They don't have no mana. Hmm. This is like, this is ner Like, if he's getting this effed up on the second floor, he must not be a very high level pet. Blue to me. Blue to a 60. But once again, I'm kind of just sitting here, so. Maybe we can read the wiki for a little bit. Um. Just real quick, we'll get caught up in what, what we're doing. Alright, so you should be seeing the wiki on the screen. I'll try not to lich myself to death, because that would be crazy and suck. But, uh, uh, second floor, the second level, the library, appears to be a school filled with students and librarians. All of the creatures here appear like ghostly erudites, humans, and dwarves. Killing any ghost on the floor can spawn an angry librarian upon death, who holds the key to the third level. There's also a secret bookcase in the northwest corner, which leads to a mirror that will take you outside. Monsters here in the 30th to 34th level. Virtual, virtually, all the creatures on this level are casters and will cast a spell at every opportunity. There's a trapped bookcase next to the entry which can be disarmed. So an angry, angry librarian. Just like the large undead knoll on the first floor, he spawns randomly from anything killed on second floor. Immediately spawns in the spot a mob dies. Drops the three-toothed key. And is level 34, so the highest level on the floor. 
That's the angry librarian. Let's go back. Maybe not. So, just something to read while we uh, wait here. Alright, should be back in the game. And my health is draining. Um, let's throw him one heal. And we'll try to... Maybe we just need to fight one thing at a time just to keep uh, the flow. I could do uh, rest the dead and, like, pull them. Um... Let's see. Rest of the dead. It's probably way back. Rest of the dead. I do this in lower guck. Maybe I should treat this place like lower guck and quit uh, thinking I'm so awesome. I think we'll treat it as a little bit more dangerous. All right, we got the librarian's assistant. So I'll rest him. Alright, he's rested. Now I'll pull the librarian. Can't see it. Dooming darkness, I guess. <laughs> pull it into this little teacher's office. So they can't see me, so they can't blast me. Alright, and then my pet runs out there. Which, I don't know. Alright, I need some health big time. Holy cow. And I'll take a seat. Everything on the side's cleared out. We should be okay. Pets fighting one at a time, which should be better. Fixing is going on right now. Could probably kill the assistant. Um, I think my pet could get in there by itself. I still got vexing on. I'm just gonna sit. We'll clear out this little front desk. So we got the whole left side clear. And now we're clearing out the first the, the front desk here. I was hoping to move through this second floor pretty quickly. Like we gotta at least see this third floor no matter what. All right, you sit every time you have a chance. Sit, dude. Okay, so and we kind of head back to the entrance a little bit. Is there anything? So yeah, to get out you would have to go back. In that corner. Alright, so. Wow, there's a lot there. Hmm. Could probably get this guy by himself. <laughs> Pull him to my pet. If this takes too long, like I said, we killed the librarian, we killed... We, we did the whole left side. I showed you the mirror and everything. Like, where's he going? I showed you the mirror and everything. Like, if I have to, I'll just find the angry librarian myself. And I will uh, record when I get to it. Alright, now fight. Pet's health is doing better now. Because we're fighting one at a time instead of two and three at a time. Just gonna have to be a slog, I guess. Alright. We got a whole bunch over here. Sit, buddy, sit. I want you always sitting. Should probably tell him to guard and then sit or something, but I think that messes it up. I think I could just pull one without even resting. Might be possible. I guess I'll rest. <laughs> You're rested. You're rested. And I think I'm just going to do vexing. Too bad I can't boot it up in here. Boot it up, boot it up, boot it up. Came to the party just to shoot it up. Go! Alright, watching another kill. Come on, Angry Librarian. Let's go. We want to see it pop. How many do we have to kill? No. Nothing yet. Stay there, buddy. Your guard. No, I'll just keep pulling. I got a lich. I'll probably pull this guy by himself, don't you think? This guy's still probably rested, too. 
All right, let's go. We're going to pull to the librarian's desk. Might be able to go to the left side here in a minute. Get him, pet. I gotta get my lich back on. There we go. Alright, now you sit. See, this is like a... Like, when I'm pulling one at a time, it takes... Like, he has too much health. And when I just go crazy... Somewhere in the middle. Like, maybe we do a little bit of both. Like, follow me, buddy. I think I might want to head over to this left side. Just get in there. Because they're going to be repopping, and I can just kill them as singles. I go from one to the next. What's the spawn time on this zone? No, oh, I just pushed the wrong button. Um, what do we got? No, go away, go away, go away. We have zone, zone spawn timer, 20 minutes. I don't even know if we've been recording for 20 minutes yet. Well, just 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 uh, just over 20, but we did pause a couple times and everything. So, all right, you sit. We got to keep that habit. Get our loot. You stay there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, stuff's starting to repop. All right, follow me. Dang, they both popped. All right, get in there. Vexing. He's dead already. Cool. Maybe they just have like a bunch of buffs. I need to sit for a sec. A couple ticks. Alright, you sit too. Let me get a tick. There we go. I feel like I'm overloaded with loot too. Like, um, I gave one of my weight reduction bags to my enchanter. Get in there. We gotta hurry before the next thing spawns. He's still buffing, it looks like. Get him, get him. Alright, if we go through this whole left side again without getting an angry librarian, I might just get it myself, you know? I'll show it to you, but I'll wait till it pops to start recording again. Alright, you sit, like always. Alright, who's next? If it takes long enough, we'll start to figure out where they pop and stuff. Ghostly Scholar, get him. Gonna start buffing. I'll just sit here and watch. Come on, baby. So I guess where we you would pull to the front, huh? You'd have like a person run out here, grab a couple, bring them back, pull them to that front area where nothing. Uh, and I hope he doesn't go too far over there. Whew. All right, sit. There's a lot of stuff in the middle. All right, what's next? Somebody's got to be next. It's probably right here somewhere. Come on. I've got all day. I'm probably sad or something in between these kills, huh? Hmm, maybe I'll pull something from here. Getting impatient. <laughs> Hopefully they don't go all the way around. Nope. Dang it. Well. I might as well just wait now. Here we go. Get him.
Ghostly students, anything here can turn into the angry librarian. We're looking for the angry librarian so we can get a key so we can go to the third floor, which we've never seen before. There's nothing too cool on this floor. We need to get to the next one. And another student. Get in there. Let's uh, maybe rebuff ya. Something to do. Augment death. Bang. Alright, you sit. It's the casting that I think is making it a little bit annoying. Ghostly student, ghostly scholar, a little bit of lag. Scholar, scholar. Yeah, I guess the only way the uh, angry librarian would be up is if somebody else spawned it and then didn't kill it. Alright, get in there. I'll do this. You kick some butt. There's another one. It's okay, though, because he's already halfway through that one, so he'll be all right. All right, we're getting close to being in 30-minute mark here, so, you know, we'll finish off this side, and then I gotta, I'll take care of the rest until uh, I find it for you. Got that ghostly student that was hiding. I forgot about him. Can I get a vexing off? No. Still no angry librarian. We're having such terrible luck. Imagine if you're just trying to get to the third floor and you didn't really care about anything on this floor. You gotta... Isn't that crazy? I guess you'd have to camp out. Like, if you really wanted to do the... 5th, 6th, 7th floor... You'd have to just camp out up there and... Stay up there until you're done with it. You wouldn't want to have to go back through every single time. Imagine having to get these keys. Every time. Yeah, let me pause and I'll... I'll get, uh, when it spawns, I'll like try to hurry up and... Uh, start the stream back up for you. Or the stream. The video. Alright, y'all. We don't have the angry librarian yet, but I found a faster strat to like go through here. Um, I am just, you know, shooting a, um, deflux. <clears throat> Instead of doing vexing, I shoot a deflux, pull them towards me, you know, get them out here where the pet can fight it. Have the pet fight it, right? And then I watch, I like, get the next target, whatever it may be, this one. And they're not, um, you know, I'm high enough level to where I can just pull. I don't gotta rest the dead. So, Deflux is costing me way less mana. I'm getting the full value of it. It's still helping with my Lich. You know what I mean? So, it seems like Deflux is the way to go if you're a level 60 Necromancer doing this. Uh, so, I watch my pet. As soon as it's dying or running, I'm shooting the next one. Pulling it. Nothing else comes. You know, they mostly I mostly resist any spells they do. And then, um, you know, just get my pet on it. Maybe I go loot. While I walk, you know, while I wait, and he's fighting that scholar, I'm on to the next one. Ghostly student, target it. He's running, cast it, pull it. The next one's coming. That one died. It's casting on me and stuff, so it's taking forever anyway. And then, you know, he's fighting it. I target this one. I got my deflux. You know, I'm slowly losing mana, but it's not as bad as doing the vexing and all that so you could probably get in there on that one because there's nothing else around loot this you know maybe i sit every once in a while but not as much as i was doing I gotta find the next target which if there is any and we cleared this whole freaking floor cleared the whole freaking right side now but i just wanted to show you that real quick you know i do better i'm not always like stupid um, I'm gonna see if this teacher is back. Probably. 
About to have the whole floor cleared, I think. It's pretty close. <laughs> comes the teacher. Attack it. I might actually sit this time because I'm getting low on mana. Wow! Blasted me. It's alright, though. I should probably be in there getting the student or whatever. Scholar. There he goes. Attack the Scholar. My pet's health has been better. My mana's been better. My health has been better. Like, everything's been better by doing deflux. I feel I feel like it's, um, you know, I can pull. I don't need to rest the dead. The pet's not getting fighting multiple things. Um, I'm doing all, like, the deflux damage is all, no matter what. I'm getting all of it. Instead of, like, a vexing where it might die before it ticks all the way through. Um, it's knocking them closer to running instead of a, a dot. Like, I could probably even do a direct damage spell. But the Deflux helps with my Lich, too. So it's, like, the best spell, I think, is Deflux for this. Here we go. We got the Librarian and the Librarian's Assistant. I'll show you these two, and then we'll uh, I'll go back to pausing and uh, looking, looking for the stupid, angry Librarian that does not want to pop after, like, three full clears of this crap. We had so much... The luck was so much better on that first floor. I'm trying to be, like, do better today and, like, go faster and get more stuff done. And this is the type of stuff that happens. I have the worst luck ever. Alright, get in there, buddy. I might even blast it twice. Just, to... My man is alright. Alright, so, freaking everything is dead. Still no angry librarian. Like, I think we had the whole floor. Like, I did the middle and everything. Look. The whole middle's clear. The whole right side is clear. Look at that. The left side might be popping? Yeah, here we go. It's crazy. How long is this gonna take? Yeah, after this kill, I'll pause and come back. I got my finger on the trigger, though. I got my finger on that pause button, so... As soon as it pops, I'll be... You'll be able to see me fight the angry librarian. Worst case scenario, you'll at least see me looting it, but I'm hoping you get you get to see me fighting it. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to clearing the whole floor again, I guess. All right, y'all. Here we are. I don't know what this is. We got Zagram the 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 dead. I was kind of watching something as I did this. Hopefully you didn't hear that in the background, but you probably did for a second. I tried to mute it. Who is Zagram the Dead? Well, I'm gonna dot him up. He's not the angry librarian, but he's something. He's about to get dotted. <laughs> and he splurted and vexing. Looks like he's dying. Zorglim the Dead. Man, I've cleared so much of this floor like it's crazy. This is getting ridiculous. I hope this guy has the key. He probably doesn't, though. Crystallized Shadow Helm. No trade. Great. All right, let's see what this guy has. We got Crystallized Shadow Sleeves. Once again, no drop. Great. So he was nothing. Cool. I just thought I'd show you all that. Something happened. It wasn't what I wanted to happen, but, uh, yeah. Been getting some pages, been getting some runes. Nothing too crazy. I'm kind of worried I'm going to fill up my entire inventory, and then what do you do? I guess your key, the key would stay on, like, if I got the key. But no, because then how would I get to the freaking second floor? I'd have to get the null dead again, because the keys don't stay on you, right? Alright, I got the librarian here. Man, this is crazy. I didn't think this was going to take this long, y'all. I don't know how much of the third floor we're going to be able to do. But we have seen the entire second floor now. Uh, maybe I'll look up Zorglim the Dead for you. Hold on a sec. Let's see. What is he? Um, Where's the NPCs? He should be easy to find. He's a Z. 
Zorglim the Dead. Uh, spawns in the library, second floor. Placeholder can be a ghostly scholar. In case you didn't notice, he's dead. And I don't think he's really for anything. Kind of stupid. I guess just something to shake it up a little bit. But man, I cannot get this angry librarian to spawn. I don't know what to do. I'm killing everything in the entire floor. It's not like I'm skipping anything or... I don't know what to do, y'all. Like, I couldn't imagine being here for this long as like a... Yeah, I don't know. This zone is crazy. I see why people don't come to it as much, you know? Because the key's going to despawn when you log off. You would have to camp on the floor where you want to be. But to get there, like... Eventually you're going to have to go to the bank. So I guess you would bind... You'd, like, bind or something and then... Leave and go to the bank and then come back before you log off. I, I might be thinking... Stinking thinking here. I'm like, uh, losing my mind with how long this is taking. I mean, I didn't expect it to be easy. It is EverQuest, but you saw the first floor. It was just, he was just there. Like, it was so easy. Like, I thought, you know, maybe I have to clear the whole floor out once. Um, and by the time we do that, we would get it. But no, we've cleared it like three times now. Still no angry librarian. I can't believe it. I need a demi lich, which probably needs means I need to aug the pet. But yeah, I just been defluxing. I'll sit here and there. I haven't had to sit too much though. And it's driving me crazy how this is taking so long. We got to see something special, though, I guess. That guy who was not really special, but uh, it was something different, so I wanted to show you. So if we don't... The Angry Librarian doesn't pop after this guy, I'm going to pause again, and I'll be back with y'all. If something else happens, if anything interesting happens, I will be back to show you it. But otherwise, I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully not too long. All right, finally. It was like two kills later, of course. We got the Angry Librarian. Let's go. Get in there. I'm going to F this thing up because it's been so annoying to find. <laughs> Angry Librarian. It's going to get vexing. It's going to get splurted. I mean, I'll, I'll necro F it at least. But there it is, the Angry Librarian. Finally. Jeez. So we can move up to the third floor finally. Hopefully you got to see that pretty good. So the Three Toots Key. It is magic item, lore item, no drop. So, huh. I guess it doesn't go away when you... That's good. Never mind. Everything I was saying before. I thought it was no rent, too. So you just gotta get it one time. Okay, okay. So we still have the other key, too? Crystal key, yeah. Okay, so forget what, what I was saying earlier. Sometimes I say stuff, and then I correct myself later. That's why you gotta watch the entire video. You can't just, uh... You know, I would edit it out or whatever, but... I'm not doing that, so... You guys have to kind of follow along the whole video. Sometimes I realize things halfway through. All right, here we go to the third floor. It's going to be probably way more hard. We'll read about it once we get there. But here's the mirror. Dang, our pet's probably not going to follow us. And if it does, it's going to cause a ruckus up here. Remember last time? Last time we switched floors? Hmm... I mean, it worked out. It was okay, but he... Man, I don't want to die. I don't know if I have enough, like, bones and stuff to... I don't know. I guess we'll try it. This will be a lesson for everybody. It should be exciting to see what happens here. Crystal key. I don't even have a lot of room. But that's cool now that I know. That we can, uh... We have the keys forever. Just have to get them one time. It's not as bad as I thought. Alright, where's my pet now? Alright, not too bad. He's right here. So after we kill this guy, we'll uh, figure out what's up with this floor. A skeleton sleeper. Looks like a monk. And he's dead. Alright, you sit right there, buddy. 
Hey, we're getting more bones. That's good. All right, here. Follow me. Let's go to the. Let's go to the. Right here. I don't want anything attacking me. I might even take off Lich because we're gonna switch over to the wiki real quick. We're on the third floor finally, y'all. We'll get to do at least like 15 minutes of this, so you know we might have to. Maybe we'll get the key immediately and head to the fourth floor, but I kind of want to explore this floor too. Um, but yeah, let me switch over to the wiki and we'll read about it. All right, we should be there now. Um, still on this dude. Uh, let's go and check out floor three. What are we going to deal with here? Double checking my lich, because I've killed myself off liching a bunch of times. Come on, computer. Let's go. Everything took way too long today. Don't Don't add to it. It's adding to it. It's adding to it. Come on. All right, back on the main page. Let's check out the third floor. Third says 35 to 40. So we're just going up a little bit here. Not too crazy. I mean, the lowest level is going to be 35, which is going to be different than 29. And But the highest level doesn't change too much. Um, an armored shadow, a zombie butler, and a zombie maid. A Shadow Beast Servant, a Shadow Beast Cook, a Skeleton Sleeper. Alright, what do we got? Third floor. Level 3, is this it? Why do they got it in a weird order? So we start here. And then there's a few things. We got a 4, a 5, a 6. The exit's that way. Okay. This does show us. Uh, 6 is Skeleton Sleeper area. Four is Shadow Beast Room. Five is Pool Room. And something about C. Amana Thepna, who drops Sparkling Soul Necklace and Prophecy Scroll, and Kara Omika, who drops Magnetic Dirk of Distraction, Sorcerer's Bowl, and Bomber Skinning Knife, and Small Rusty Key on top level. Bottom level as Teleporter takes you to point C. Weird. Alright, let's go down here. All right, to get the fourth floor, we need to have an Enraged Shadow Beast spawn. All right, the third level, the Servant's Quarters, and is inhabited by various types of undead, mostly armored, shadows, and others. Same as the second floor, the Key Holder, an Enraged Shadow Beast, has a small chance to spawn upon the death of any mob on the floor. There is a mirror here that is in the room with a bed and zombie maids that will take you to the outside. Monsters here are roughly 30th to 43rd level. Most mobs in the level are not caster, so it can be an easier floor than the caster dense level 2. This level can be confusing because of many long corridors and two-way illusory walls. Great. Great. Let's see this enraged shadow beast. This fellow drops the key to the fourth level of the tower. Random spawn from any mob on the third floor. Alright, what was all that business about, like... Who's the chick that they were talking about? Hopefully this doesn't take too long to go back. I don't know. We'll read that later. Let's get back to the game. Mm. All right. Should be back on it. Dog on it. All right. Let's lich. Make sure we got our og. I think we'll still do, the, still do the pet thing for this floor. It, sound, it said it was pretty much like the second floor. Because they're not casters. Alright, let's continue the way we were going. We're going left. We'll do Lefty Lucy this time. I'm going to tell him to guard. I don't want to, like, a bunch of enemies to jump me. It's talking about illusionary, illusory walls, too. So we're going to have to hump up against some walls. We get another door. Nothing. This door went nowhere. It's a bunch of doors. This looks like an enemy, yes. Skeleton sleeper. Should we do the deflux thing again? Alright, I hit him. <clears throat> Can't really see what's going on, I'm sorry. the pet does well against these 
seems pretty good so far. No, like, big groups of mobs yet, even though we're only fighting the second one. The fights are definitely taking longer, though. Alright, bone chips. A little bit of extra gold. Alright, another skeleton here. I can definitely see that. Right, get in there, pet. Might throw two on these. Let me take a hit or two. All right, another one down. Let's have the pet move up a little bit. You can sit like right there. Go in here, make sure there's nothing in here. Okay. Here's the next door. Nothing. Got a corner. Nothing. Ooh, what's that? An armored shadow. It's pretty cool looking. Something different. I'll throw a deflux at the beginning and, the, and a deflux at the end. Let me get a tick of mana here. And eh, let's just go. Nice. All right, buddy, sit. A plat. That's cool. At least, at least it was something a little bit different. All right, nothing that way. Let's check these doors out. Skeleton. And they like me, don't they? It's not like the second floor where I could just pull whatever I wanted and they wouldn't uh, come after me. Give them a couple hits. A little bit harder. Alright, you take a seat, buddy. He's starting to get low on health. Alright, nothing in here. Nothing. Uh, skeleton. It's fine, I'll take a hit or two. Here, I'll take a hit or two. I can just deflux. Might be the way to go, actually. My pet's low on health. Let's let him, uh, life tap while I get hit and deflux. Nothing in here. Wow, we went the whole... This is the only door we haven't been in yet. Two skeletons. Great. Can take a couple hits. Nope. Alright, one down. That was a little tough. Got my butt kicked for a sec. Alright, I might have to vexing off this one. We're losing a little bit too much health. Alright, we're gonna sit here for a second. That was a lot. Two at once is... I might have to start being more careful. Like, that could have went south pretty quickly if I didn't hurry up and get out of that room. Like, that was a little bit reckless by me. But let's let the pet sit for a sec. Let me get a little bit of mana back. Not too long, though. So here, I'll pause for a sec, and uh, I'll be right back with y'all after I med like a bub. Alright, let's keep this moving. Some gold, some bones... A plat, almost two plat. I think we cleared this whole side. Unless there's like an illusory wall somewhere that I missed. I don't think there's too much of anything special on the left side. Alright, do we want to head down the middle here? 
Or maybe we do righty tighty first. I already did lefty loosey. I kind of want to put my buff back on. After getting hit that hard. Maybe even a mana shield? I don't know. Mana shield just wears off so quick. It's not worth it. You get hit too much. It's good for when you're charm fighting or only getting hit every once in a while, but pretty expensive. Alright, that was like, is this just this? Oh, okay. Okay, I need to hurry. Fight something. Nothing. 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 Ooh, we got two shadow beasts. Okay. Let's root one. Hopefully nothing more comes. Shadow beast cook. Might not have had to have done that. Because the other one didn't come when I rooted. About the vexing too. Alright, that Shadow Beast is down. We got the other one that's rooted. Ugh. Let's get a tick of mana. Oh, he's fighting something. Armored Shadow. That'd be a good chance for me to just chill. Can't really see it, but you saw it earlier. You know what it looks like. Maybe it wanders around? I don't know. That's a cool noise. I, lo I love seeing different enemies that have different audio... So we've killed quite a few, and the special guy hasn't popped yet. Just tell the pet to get in there. I think I'm just going to sit. Let him kill it. This way could be easier, you never know. Like The, the hardest room so far was that room with two skeletons in it. Which wasn't too bad. If I had known there was two in there, I would have had a better chance than just wandering in. And all we gotta do is keep killing. Like, we could sit here and kill the same one over and over if we wanted to. But it'd be a 20 minute spawn. Like, if you just wanted to get the keys and you wanted to play it super safe. Sounds not fun, but... You could sit on the same, like, two or three instead of wandering around the entire floor like I'm doing. I'm just trying to show y'all for for YouTube, for the video, the entire floor. Plus, what am I going to do? Like, wait. But I could. I could sit here and just sit in this room and kill this same Shadow Beast three times an hour until I get the key, which would take forever, but I'd probably do more than just the one. All right, quite a few killed so far. The whole front area is cleared out. Shadow Beast Servant, are you the only dude in there? By yourself? I guess I'll pull you just in case. Looks like a trap. Just help out. So it's supposed to be like the second floor where it will just pop as soon as we kill it. And we got a table. A little room back here. Let's tell the pet to chill. Maybe even sit. Oh, it's an illusory wall. Okay. wonder if there's another one. Yep. I guessed it. Hmm. Zombie butler. Let's just grab it. Uh, what do I have on there? So I'll just sit and watch. So a new enemy... We have the Shadow Beast, we have the little Sentinel guys, whatever they're called. We got the Skeletons, and now we get a zombie. So 
Another illusory wall. Anybody else in here? Those statues probably don't attack you. Grab a deflux. Looks like this is going to be a longer video, you guys. I want to show you this third floor. And then I don't know how we're going to proceed uh, from there. Should I just get the key on my own? I kind of like showing you the special enemy that drops the key, though. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Would you rather just see the floors? Like, have me get the key on the third floor without recording and then just show you the fourth floor? Or do you like to see as the key drops and how long it takes? And Because that could cut out some of this nonsense if uh, I was just to get it myself. A little pool. You stay there. Nothing too bad on this floor. I'm not hating it. Zombie made. Like I said, the, the hardest part was that one little tiny room with the two skeletons. Once you break it, not too bad. I kind of like this floor better than the second floor. And the second floor was like a wide open... Yeah, it wasn't that cool. And here's the mirror to get outside, I think. Or to go to the next floor, I can't remember. Couple beds in here. And we'll take a look at the wiki again before we uh, are done. We're going to check out this entire floor. And that might be it for today. And we'll have to get the key next time. At least I showed you something new. All right, follow me. My goal is to get get you this entire floor. All right, we'll keep doing righty tidy. Got some uh, cool statues here. Now we're getting real deep. Maybe. Hopefully the pet's following. Oh, another mirror. So this may be the one to go... I feel like we've seen everything now. We just need to, uh, maybe the middle? By the time I find an enemy, I should probably just take off Lich, but... It's a hassle! Alright, here we go. Something new. More statues. Alright, we got this. Dang it. I'll chase it down. Oh. It's just walking around this front area, I think. <laughs> Armored shadow. Get a good look at it. Maybe I'll do a, a thumbnail here. Reaper versus Armored Shadow. And those are tough. <laughs> it even cool, makes cool noise when it dies and everything. Um, so I think we've been, like, this is the, this is the front. So, this is where we did not go last time, which was down the middle. We've gone to the left, we've gone to the right, we just haven't exactly gone to the middle. But all we gotta do is take a left up here, and we've done it. Just knocked over statue. I think this is the only way we haven't gone. There's a room back here. I don't see anything. This is a trap. Weird. Is there an illusory wall, maybe? No? Maybe over here. No? 
Just a big empty room with nothing in it, huh? Alrighty. Man, we hit that hour mark, you guys. It means less views, probably. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay. There's a few armored uh, dudes in there. This might be a case for the dot. Should probably pull these dudes with the dot. And then maybe deflux towards the end or something. They do walk away. I think he's too close to his buddy, so he's not running. Hopefully y'all can hear that. Ooh, what's this? Gnome skin leggings. They're not no drop. I get a lot of copper and silver fast in here. That's why you see me running so slow. That, and like I said, I gave one of my bags to my, uh... We got 5 AC, save poison 5. yippity doo da day. Hopefully it's worth some plat. Alright, another one. An Arbored Shadow. Just get in there. Vexing. We'll just do a deflux too, because they're pretty tough. Alright. At least there isn't stuff de-spelling on this floor. They're not being weird. Come on, pop it. Pop it right now. Let's see the fourth floor. Let's get it all wrapped up in this one video. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, man. I think we killed everything on the floor. Not sure, though, because I've never been here. One gold. All right, I, I don't know, y'all. Another armored shadow. Oh, there's two of them. That's bad. It's bad for my pet. Just get them dead. Kill it. There you go. Alright, we're okay. Let's do this. Augment. And I need to... Lich. Alright, there he goes. They're running. Pet needs to sit as soon as he kills it. Sit. Gnomeskin leggings again. That's Demi Lich. Nothing in here. Alright, follow me. I need mana, you need health. We already been back here, haven't we? Yep. Okay. I think that's everything, like not a hundred percent. I think we cleared the entire floor. It is a little confusing, but not really. We've already been that way. We're probably gonna have to go back and like kill the whole floor again. You know what I could do? Since we've seen this entire floor. Is next time, next Wednesday, when um you know I'll fire it up, we'll be on floor three. And immediately, I'll just be looking for the key, and as soon as it pops, I'll start recording. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, we didn't really look at the entire second floor last time, you know? So that's why I wanted to show you the entire second floor today. But you guys have seen the entire third third floor now, in this one. We won't have to do that next time. We'll fire it up. I'll re-explain where we're at, what we're doing, and then I'll wait until it pops. And that's when I'll start, uh... Recording. Try to get a deflux off. Because I don't know. You know how long it took on the second floor. This is going to be a minute. But yeah, that's pretty much the third floor. 
Let's head back to the entrance. Take a seat. Turn off Lich. Tell the pet to sit. And let's switch back over to the wiki real fast, and then we're going to probably get out of here, unless there's some part of the third floor we haven't seen. So let's let's go check it out. All right, should be back over on the wiki. So, two-way illusory walls. Um, okay. So let's look at the map here. Yeah, we definitely went through here. Did we see all that? Probably. Yeah, we saw it all. I mean, that's the exit, and that's the... So now we know that. But, um... The one thing I wanted to see... What's, seven is not on here. So seven's up here. So there's a teleporter on level four that can take you back to... Level 3, I guess. So that has nothing to do with us, though. So all this junk right here I, I was wondering about is on, on level 4, which looks pretty crazy. Look at this. That's that's what we're in store for next time. Because what I'm going to do, like I said, instead of the way we did it in this video with level 2, where you pretty much watched me kill the entire floor when you had already seen half the floor, and I should have just shown you like half of it and paused a little bit sooner... Maybe it just feels to me like I, it took me way longer because I was paused half the time and looking, and it took me for I got to clear it like three times. But um, you know, next and next Wednesday, we're gonna see floor floor four, level four, and the amount of time you're gonna be looking at level three is gonna be minimal, you know, 15 minutes max. And I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna find the key. You know, you'll see me fight the enemy that drops the key, and um, you know. I'll, Bring it back up as soon as that thing pops, whatever it is, then rage and all. And uh, we'll get the key, we'll head to 4. And we'll have a nice, solid 45 minutes of being on level 4. We'll look look through the whole of level 4, and that's probably how this is going to have to go, because it seems like it takes a little bit longer than I was anticipating. I figured we could knock out two floors on, on each video, but it might take, like, a freaking video of floor. So, yeah. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Let's get back over to the game before we get out of here. I can figure it out. There we go. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you haven't seen level 3 before. There you go. Now you've seen the entire thing. And all we got to do is get that freaker to spawn. And he's going to... It's not like I could... It's not like I should go look through the entire floor and see if it spawned. Because that's not how it works. As soon as you kill it, it pops immediately. So we killed... We cleared the entire floor and it did not pop. So I would have to go through and clear the entire floor again and hope it pops. But that's what we'll be doing next time. You won't have to watch the old thing. I'll just record as soon as the uh, special mob pops. And then we'll go check out level four next time. So level four next time. I'll see you there. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. Helps a lot. Tear, get up on the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.